Hello everyone. Welcome to Yellow Pages Nursing. In today's video, we will be discussing about care of a central line. Before entering into the session, if you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Let's get into the session. In this video, the learning objectives we will be discussing are what is central line or CVC? Why central line care is important? What are the indications of central lines and care of patient with central venous catheter? What is a central line or CVAD that is central venous access device or C line? A central venous catheter also known as a central line is long, soft, thin, hollow tube that is placed into a large vein that ends in cavo atrial junction. A central line catheter comes with multiple lumen named as proximal, distal, and medial. Now, why central line care is important? First one is infection prevention. Proper care is essential to prevent central line associated bloodstream infections, that is, CLAP C, which can lead to serious complications, sepsis, and increased patient morbidity and mortality. This includes CLAP C care bundle. Then, maintaining venous access. Central lines are essential for various medical interventions including the administration of medications, parenteral nutrition, hemodialysis, and frequent blood sampling. Adequate care ensures the longevity and functionality of the central line, reducing the need for repeated insertions and preserving venous access. Next comes patient safety. Central lines are often used in critically ill patients, those requiring long-term intravenous therapies. Ensuring the safety of these patients is paramount as complications related to central line can lead to severe illness, prolonged hospital stays, and increased mortality. Now comes central venous catheter indications, and this include volume resuscitation, emergent venous access, nutritional support, inotropes and high-risk medications, hemodialysis, and CVP monitoring. Next is insertion sites of central venous catheters. The sites where central venous catheters inserted are internal jugular vein, subclavian vein, and femoral vein. Care of central venous catheters also include the following assessment, scrub the hub, transparent dressing, use of closed system extension, and flushing and locking. First is assessment. Under assessment, first comes assessment of pain. This is done in order to identify the intensity of level of pain of the patient and plan for further interventions. Next is assessment of redness if it is localized or spreading. Next, we assess for suture integrity if it is intact and in place. Next is assess for inflammation which is indicated by signs such as redness, swelling, and the skin being warm to touch. Next is assess for any discharge. Fever can be a sign of infection at the venous site, which could be indicated by discharge, which may be purulent, redness, warmth, and tenderness. Infection mainly occurs at the insertion site if it is not cleaned and disinfected properly, which may lead to bacterial contamination. And next is assessment of patency. Patency refers to the unobstructed flow of fluids to the central venous catheter. Patency is monitored periodically to ensure the unobstructed functioning of the central venous catheter in order to administer fluids, medications, or for other treatments. Next is assessment of date of insertion. Recording the date of insertion of the central venous catheter is important for patient care and safety. And every institution has its own policy for either change or removal of central venous catheter. 
Next is removal of unnecessary lines. Once the infusion gets over, remove the line immediately and don't keep the empty line for a period of time in order to prevent backflow. Under care of central venous catheter, the next is scrub the hub. Scrub the hub prior to accessing the line to administer medications, fluids, flushes or blood draws. We have discussed about scrub the hub in detail in one of our previous video and the link is given in the description box below. Make sure the center line should be covered with sterile sheet before we perform scrub the hub. Now, scrub the hub refers to the practice of cleaning and disinfecting the access port or hub of a medical device such as intravenous catheter or central line. What is a hub? Hub refers to the end of the catheter that connects to the blood lines or infusions. Why is scrub the hub important? Catheter hub is a known source for catheter related bloodstream infections and needless connectors are source for microbial contamination. So scrub the hub is important in order to prevent these infections. When do we scrub the hub? Scrub the hub prior to accessing the lines to administer medications, fluids, flushes or blood draws. How do we perform scrub the hub? Perform hand hygiene, wear gloves, use chlorhexidin or 70% alcohol swab and scrub the hub in a twisted motion for 15 seconds. Allow the hub to dry for 15 seconds. So total 30 seconds after which the hub can be accessed with sterile devices for infusing medication or drawing blood. Under care of central venous catheter, next is transparent dressing. Secure the catheter with transparent dressing. Replace dressings that are wet, soiled or dislodged. Perform dressing with aseptic technique and use chlorhexidin. Next comes use of closed system extension. As discussed before, central line has multiple lumen and in critical care, patient may have multiple infusion through central line. So, there will be a need of extra lumen for infusion. Hence, select a closed system two-way or three-way extension depending upon the number of infusions. Remember, more the number of ports, more the chances of infection. Next comes flushing and locking. What is called central line flushing? Injecting a sterile solution, typically normal saline or heparinized saline into central line. Why is flushing done? This is done in order to maintain catheter patency, to prevent blockage or clot in the lines, and to prevent drug-drug interactions. When is flushing done? Flushing is done before administering injections, after administering injection, between injection and after collecting blood samples. Next is locking. IV locking is also called saline lock. For saline locks or intermittent catheters not currently in use but left in place for future access, it is typically recommended to flush them with saline and lock them after each use. And this is done in order to maintain the patency of the central venous line and prevent any occlusions. Next is prevention of CLAPSI, central line associated bloodstream infection. These bundles typically consist of combination of intervention and best practices aimed at reducing the risk of infection associated with use of central venous catheters or central lines. Implementing CLAPSI bundles has been shown to significantly reduce the incidence of CLAPSIs. So, so far we have discussed care of central venous catheter under which we have seen what is central line or CVC, why is central line care important, what are the indications of central line and care of patient with central venous catheter. If you find this video useful, please like it, share it and subscribe it and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.